Hello ladies and gents, welcome to the new car show. We're in Brussels for the first time. Uh, again, checking the new stepway. Different spec, let's go. Uh, welcome to the another look of the new Dacia Sendero stepway uh, in this beautiful gold color. We're in Brussels, as I've mentioned, uh, for the first time for me. Uh, and I wanted to once again go through this beautiful uh, affordable car. We know cars are super expensive these days. So let's come a little bit closer. Check the color. Look at this gold flakes. The color looks amazing on this light. And then we can see the new redesigned LED headlights. No, no chrome in the background. It's whitened out. We have the uh, Thor hammer uh, copied from Volvo, sort of like uh, data running lights have a black Dacia inside now and we have LED projectors and a turn signal with a bulb so we have LED lights and the long beam is warm light also uh, still halogen fog lights but cheap to replace uh, we have unpainted plastic little piano black there and some sort of gray uh, protection going around on the stepway and a little bit uh, gray contrast there Big air intake at the bottom, radar for emergency braking, and then the new grille, uh, piano black with white details. Uh, someone commented that they prefer the chrome on the pre facelift. So, this is kind of facelift facelift. <laughs> They've introduced the new lights, but then decided to change the logo, and then we have the stepway uh, there. No camera. I think I saw one of the models' uh, camera for 360 parking. Uh, beautiful looking car. Uh, let's come from another angle here looking gorgeous and also um, nice if you're going a little bit light off-roading that i mean on a non-asphalted road so maybe gravel stone uh, we have here uh, continental tires eco contact uh, 20560 r16 we have um, hubcaps uh, on steel wheels and turn signals are now I have this white basil again another look at the color really stands this car out and we have a matte gray finish on the side mirrors and you can see uh, only light and rain sensor there is no still lane assist camera you can see there's a mount in there for a phone mount and you can see the speakers there plastic dash uh, moving to the top, uh, Stepway has this system when you can uh, take this out uh, here and here and then this could be put instead of like this, it could be put like that. So you can take these out and uh, that's flexible so uh, it's practical. Stepway signature there and optional banner roof tinted. You have a big antenna there so if I step back you can see the profile of the car and then uh, notice the protection on the bottom so we have this plastic like maybe um, air pockets there's also symbol here where I need to put the jacket if you're lifting the car and over here you can see some sort of film protection so it's nice protection there no tinted windows on the rear unfortunately you can see the heaters on the rear now not a lot of space but i'm going to try to back up here see the whole car and how it looks very nice so we have the well facelift led uh excuse me they look like led but these are actually halogen bulbs inside uh just looking nice uh rear taillights uh, we have the fog and the reverse light on the other side and also plastic bumper integrated parking sensors gray on the back and uh can't really see the exhaust to be honest um, from this angle you can see the LED uh, license plate illumination and the new Sandero badge now I'm not a huge fan of this I think they should have left it in maybe in white uh, just the chrome part looked better but this looks nice definitely changes the perspective of the brand the new Dacia letters on the back signature we have the stop level washer nozzle for the wipe there if I back up, you can see the car. Now let's open it up. Now we already saw this, but if you're here for the first time watching this video, show the car in the Paris and in Barcelona. So that's the 
about the new press to open it's nice and rubberized manual closing uh, not a lot of things up here just this area uh, on the top you have a shelf you can put a longer umbrella here so this is really practical and you can take of course the top shelf off if you need more room on the top and we have a nice cargo space now uh, this might not look too, too deep but this is a uh, false floor uh, there is five fingers to the top of the loading area from this shelf now looking at the side we have two hooks and we have here a uh, jack for lifting uh, the car and over here nothing I think they could put like a fire extinguisher here or maybe first aid there is a warm light on the left side and another two grocery hooks seats knocked down 60 40 and over here you can see uh, you can pull this tab you can see on the side here uh, it just falls in so you can see the spare tire I think these are the same dimensions if I'm not mistaken and I can't really see the tire dimension at this moment actually I can see it here 185 65R I think it's at some um, 15 so it might be smaller I think it was 16 but I'm gonna check it out once again and then you can put this shelf below it's easier with two hands but the other one's filming and there you go so you can knock this down you can see that you have a lot more uh, room and depth inside in that case uh, you get another five fingers of height now it is easy to put this back again with two hands I manage with one so once again you can see there is some room in there and like in here to put maybe some small stuff there um, don't see tether points but yeah it is what it is let's close it up uh, once again gorgeous color choice and just open this up so you need to use the key recommended uh, run minimum 95 I think 98 is recommended now we're gonna check the spec here briefly so we have the uh, Dodge Sendero Stepway Expression TCE 110 horsepower petrol or benzene and six-speed manual if I'm not mistaken so we have your average consumption CO2 grams uh, we're gonna come to the other side of this vehicle so let's check the back solid closing sound uh, fairly uh, good opening so if you need to put a child seat some seals here not a lot inside and over here so you have the inside seal but they could have maybe added something surrounding at the bottom of the door you can push here to lock from the inside for the kids if you have them and hard plastic and you can see here no Roman 5 on the glass that means this is not a factory tint so if someone you know tints that you're gonna know if it's a foil or uh, if it's original factory tint uh, power windows practical handles really small here room for a water bottle not sure if a standard water bottle would fit and here you have a speaker now uh, stepway seats nice contrasting uh, copper stitching and some white cloth seats here and it's a nice match with the color uh, in this case and we have here a seat belt now in order to knock down the bench uh, you have here a seat belt uh, liner so the little strap is hidden behind look at this design so this really makes no sense but it's hidden here you pull up and you can knock down the seat so the seat is a little bit way up so you can see that and you can see the inside of the interior there and the shelf let's hop inside so uh, closing sound is okay there is a slight rattle sound and that's a lack of uh, insulation maybe in the door seals now I was sitting on the front and I did back up the seat way back since I'm a tall person you can see I can fit in that case but I would be definitely 
hitting the driver with my knees, it wouldn't be comfortable for a tall person. But this is like for extreme situations such as myself, like if there be two basketball players inside the car, which is probably not gonna be the case. Uh, you have a big, big pockets here and good feet room. So uh, nice space here is just plain. Uh, front driver's seat has this uh, like armrest, it's cloth. And you can see over here, there's a little room maybe, but mostly uh, towards the driver. There's a good space here. It's not too tall transmission tunnel. It is a bit wider. The seats are nice and comfy. Once again, you have this zippers for the ISOFIX. And unfortunately, there is no uh, armrest in the middle there, but it looks uh, quite okay. It's a car show, so people are filming here. Now you can see a nice big tall windows and good overview on the rear. And they try to maximize the space here on the top for tall people such as myself. So let's check it out. So um, yeah, it's tight, but I can actually fit with my head straight. I'm touching with my hair, but it's actually pretty decent. And on the top, you can see there's a panda roof, more manual uh, opening and closing. I think that's practical. And then a view at the front with the new Dacia uh, letters at the steering wheel uh, horn. And let's get to the front in a moment because there's a person filming next to my doors. Okay, they're taking some photos, so they're, they're really polite. So, um, Checking the front, so on the uh, side mirrors, there's no blind spot, not even in the mirror itself. There is uh, nothing like a bottle light. Uh, driver side has a physical cylinder here, the 12 watt with the pleats. And let's open up. So solid closing and opening sound. Uh, front doors open a bit wider, so someone's browsing the car, so the closing sound wasn't fair, uh, but I think it was decent sounds better when the, all the doors are closed uh, better sound insulation here now over here you have your tire pressure and tire dimension so uh, 15 i think that's the spare tire and then the 16 inch uh, is actually two dimensions so you can see that there and uh hard plastic on the front same handles now on the front you have this uh, textile in gray and with that copper signature at the bottom uh, power windows and uh, uh, side adjustment fully automatic you can lock the rear for the kids it's practical and this is soft at least where you lean your elbow uh, here a little bit better space but still not too tall if you need to put a water bottle inside and a big speaker stepway plastic uh, doorstep and we have here stepway original uh, carpets you can see for the manual uh, rubber paddles uh, light height, uh, parking sensors on and off, steering column is manual. And looking at the seat, so this is for sliding back and forward, up and down, and uh, this is for the tilt, as you can see. Uh, and you can see here, I'm gonna mess it up with the seat, but you can see the seat, I'm gonna adjust when I get inside, and you can see the banner roof uh, there. Uh, let's hop inside. There is a little, a little vent here, but it looks like a speaker, but I'm not sure if it is. Okay, closing sound. So good closing sound. I can still hear some music because it is loud. We're in an open space. Okay, I can go a little bit lower. And you can see the beautiful point of view. I'm gonna switch to wide lens. There we go. So you have a nice overview. You have manual gauges, uh, small screen, uh, simple graphics, but uh, it's okay to the touch, uh, fairly responsive. And then you have some physical controls and uh, nice physical AC controls. Um, the gears are a bit long, but you know, uh, this is from uh, Renault, uh, borrowed, shared uh, inside the same uh, ownership. Zooming back in. So quick overview of the new steering wheel. We have the new signature. This is nice and rubberized. We have uh, leather on the top, uh, four spoke, and we have here cruise control settings, uh, trip computer, 
and some sort of voice commands. Uh, keep your lights on automatic, uh, standard wiper controls there. This is cloth, kind of soft, and then we have on the top hard plastic. Uh, this is why the car is more affordable. You have a USB-A on the top there, and there was this mount where you could put uh, a phone holder. This is probably one of the most favorite cars for taxiing because it is cheap, has a good room. It's also a very practical family car if you're in a budget. Um, and it has a very reliable petrol engine again. Uh, on and off, volume, home screen, uh, car settings, uh, so active braking. Let's come a little bit closer there, I can see that better. Um, radio, I'm not gonna go through the stations because the reception is not the great. Where it is here, let me see the list here. Okay, so never mind. Uh, phone connection, settings, language, devices, brightness. So you have day and night mode and audio settings here. I'm not gonna go to the details, but you can see uh, that. And smartphone integration, I guess you need to probably use, yeah, Bluetooth. It seems like an Android Auto option. At the bottom, you can see the vents, classical vents. You can lock or unlock the car from the inside, hazards, passenger airbag, and um, start stop off and eco. Uh, not to forget here, you have this for the volume. Uh, press to mute. Uh, modes, sources, so, uh, and physical key cylinder there. Uh, AC, just turn up. This is what we saw from Renault Clio. Uh, it's nice physical controls. Press here for automatic. This one's pressable, these are not. You can here choose the air direction, of course. Uh, where do you want that? And that's the way you turn it off. Uh, max blow on the front, rear defrost, close the air circulation there and ac on or off 12 volt outlet there this is a blink and over here we have a uh, qi uh, wireless charging mat now i know there's a lot of light so my hand is not working as a shadow as much uh, so you can put here your phone and there's like a little space here maybe for some other stuff uh, six speed manual once again uh, long shifts a little bit clunky not super precise like German cars but you know uh, it's French uh, and over here you can uh, open or close the sunroof but I think it's not working at the moment it is in a practical spot though uh, manual handbrake there's a little symbol for a key your battery is low uh, you have here two cup holders in that back space. Now over here should be something, if I'm not mistaken, it was another 12 volt. I forgot, uh, there's a few, you know, options. I think like really small details. Now this just slams down, so it's old school. Uh, there is a lot of room. There is super deep space in there I cannot reach. And you can see the seats are very comfortable, uh, same as the Renault. Uh, they've adopted this like Volvo style headrest. You can adjust it by height. Press here, but um, no tilt. And once again, see that. Uh, moving to the top, you have the good overview on the rear. Uh, push down, uh, not to get blinded. In the rear traffic, and here you have warm lights in the cabin. Uh, no lights on the rear, and you have the emergency called there you have the uh, for the bluetooth speaker there i guess and you have uh privacy mirror documents holder there and this does not extend top is cloth this is some sort of rubberized material now on the front headspace it's good for a tall person the rarely problem on the top i can get a little bit lower so that would mean i would have more headspace but in this case there's plenty of it. Uh, let's see what's under the bonnet. Now, uh, here you can change the display there. So you can only see range and your speed. Uh, pull this. This is the fuse box, so that's why I didn't open it. It's not a little storage area. 
again just to open the bonnet uh, a little bit to the right push to the left you can see that mechanism and here's the petrol engine and 12 volts and washer fluid um, is usually marked blue or sometimes black or another color I uh, don't see it at this oh it's there washer fluid and you can see you have to use a little leg on the top there so sorry for the loud music in the background but I won't get a copyright strike but that was the new Dacia Sendero stepway and let's just check the price so over here this is all in French so um, you can see here 110 horsepower average consumption in VL, WVLTP 5.6 and you can see orange some sort of they call it orange metallic it looks kind of gold but yeah it does look a little bit orange um, you can see the package here and the um, I guess price so I guess with uh, taxes it comes up to 18,000 euros with a few options starting price is 16 so almost 17 and comes to almost 18 um, and a half a little bit more so yeah that was the new stepway uh, if you want to see more from Brussels car show do subscribe and click the bell to get notified when I upload new videos so everyone, thank you for watching. Be a cool person, support the channel, smash the like button, and leave your comments below how you like the new stepway. And I'm gonna see you in the next one. Bye.